Lance here, it's me, Andrew Drupanish, and we're going to take on Lance. No question, we're going to sneak up behind this dude. And we are going to take on Lance, the dragon trainer. He says dragons are superior. I don't have one, but I have a Pokemon that can deal with them. So, Well, actually, I have a full team that can deal with dragons. So, Let's go ahead and see what Lance has to offer. Um, Elite Four Lance would like to battle. He has a Salamence. So he leaves off with a fucking Salamence, which is totally not, you know... Fire Red version, but Fire Red Omega, so got to deal with it. Um, excuse me, I'm still kind of sick, but I do have the clear body, which means that the Intimidate doesn't affect my Metagross, and I'm just going to go straight for a Meteor Mash. Salamence goes for Dragon Dance. I think he's trying to set up, you know, Sweep with the Earthquake and shit like that, but I do know my Meteor Mash will hurt him a lot as long as I hit. So I hit the Salamence. Punch that dude. A Meteor Mash is a solid 2 hit KO, which is great. He has leftovers, which is fine. Goes for the Earthquake. I hope it does not take me out. Shit, this is really is really intense. And I live it. Please hit the, the Meteor Mash. I do. And that is a dead Salamence. Fuck yes. I did not die to that Earthquake. Alright. I gotta see what the hell he wants to do next. Alright, so he's going to send an Aerodactyl. I actually want to switch out and go into something that can wall an Aerodactyl, which I think would be my Lizard, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think he's going to have, like, a Brave Bird or anything on the Aerodactyl, so I'm going to go take this time to full restore up my Metagross, which is completely healed. And Aerodactyl goes for Aerial Ace. That was the only move I was kind of afraid of. Um, it does a shitload of fucking damage, but I'm going to hit him in the face with a Frenzy Plant, and I fucking miss. <coughs> so I fucking missed, which is great. Isn't that right, guys? Isn't it great when you miss? Brand new move that I didn't learn till like level 68 or something on Sceptile. I taught it to him. And then he misses it. So fuck, fuck Sceptile. But we're going to go for Meteor Mash on uh, the Aerodactyl that just wants to keep going for Aerial Ace. I'm not sure if he is holding a choice band. I kind of think he is. Because this Aerodactyl's Aerial Ace is doing a shitload of damage, especially to my Metagross. But it's super effective. Meteor Mash is going to take it out. I get the Attack Raise, which is extremely like rare when it comes to me getting hacks. And the Aerodactyl goes down. So Charizard's coming in next. Um, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go into Blaziken because my Blaziken has Rock Slide. And that is quite effective against his Charizard. So we're definitely going to go for that. Rock Slide. He goes for a sub. Hit the rock slide. Don't know why he's going to go for sub again. I hope he doesn't go for earthquake. That's what he does. I should be able to live it. 91 HP. Go for that rock slide. And Charizard, you are not looking too good. <coughs> so I take out the Charizard. My Blaze has 91 HP left. So I'm going to switch out into my Electabuzz. Gyarados is going to come out. And Gyarados is not even that bad of a Pokemon. Um, it's not going to do too much. I know back in the day in first gen it did a lot. And it was extremely powerful. But I'm going to go for that T-Bolt. And it should take it out right now. I'm not going to lie. Gyarados should definitely die right about now. So Gyarados is done. Gyarados is really done. <laughs> Alright. So Dragonite is coming out. We're going to actually take this turn to switch into my secret. <laughs> Um, not my secret, my special weapon, my X-Jaws, and I taught my X-Jaws Blizzard, and it hits the Blizzard, fuck yes, Dragonite is gonna get frozen solid like a bitch, come on, come on, yes, go fucking right, for alligator. yes, Dragonite goes down, and all that experience, and one more Dragonite, dude, if I can hit this one, level 69, and, of course, I missed the Blizzard. So, he goes for a sub, which is bad. I'm going to actually have to go for Ice Punch. He goes for Focus Punch, which is going to hit. But it shouldn't do that much to my uh, Frolligator. Should be able to take it kind of nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. He goes for Focus Punch again. I go for the Ice Punch, and it should be enough to take it out. And it lives it. Fuck. But he lost his focus. Can't move. I really... Uh, I think he's going to actually go for a, um, a uh, full restore right here. Uh, he goes for the speed race, so I'm going to take this time to go for a blizzard. 
which I believe if it hits, that is the end of the battle and I win. But if it misses, this, this shit's going to keep going on. So let's see if my Ferelegator has what it takes to hit. And yes, I fucking hit the blizzard. Yes. Dragonite, get the fuck. All right, and a crit, a critical hit on Blizzard. Damn. Extras just, just went to work. Elite Four Lance is defeated. That's it, but you are a Pokemon Master. All right. <laughs> we have to battle our rival. All right. So we're going to take on our rival. Next episode, we're going to go ahead and full restore. Uh, we don't have to full restore anybody. We just have to revive. Lizard. Hyper Potion, Metagross. Hyper Potion, Blaze. And X Draws and Lizard is good now. All right. Saving the game. And I will see you guys next time when we are going to take on Gary, a.k.a. Denim. And please, you know, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching the Elite Four videos. And I will see you then. Peace.